What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trade, all the content from here. Today is Monday and normally we see a big market rise, but however today we did not actually see a massive market rise unless we're investing in some Italian links or cards which are linked to this card. Your cards probably didn't rise and it was a tough Monday, but it happens from time to time. And we move, we did get some content, we did get 84 times 7 which is repeatable every day. A decent pack. I was 187 and the rest 85 squad so I believe it's 287 and 984s for that which isn't too bad because you can easily recycle that and do it over and over if you're getting at least 784s anyway so it's probably worth doing that every single day I'd say uh, and I think we've got a player pick I might have already gone past it though 80 plus player pick I, be I believe 80 plus player pick one of three and I think this is requiring two rares and six commons two rares six commons so pretty cheap Pretty cheap if you want to craft that, but it's only 80 plus, but player picks, as you know, are better than other stuff. Uh, let's get straight into my trans list. Obviously, it is not an ideal situation right now. And we did drop further. Uh, we did pay around 45 to 47k, and he's currently sat at like 45k. I'm losing 2, 3, 4k a card. But it is what it is, and unfortunately, this is what comes with trading at times. The cards you invest in can drop and can fall. Well, he's 45, 45.5. If I wasn't heavily unassigned, I would just lazy sell this guy for 48, 49k as he is selling at that price. Personally, I'm trying to get out of the unassigned and then I'll make my, make my next move. We can look at the Trophy Titans and we can look at how the entire market is performing poorly. Um, all these cards did pretty much drop overnight. Nothing really did too well. These heroes are barely holding on. 88 rated fodder is Owen. The leash isn't doing too well. In all honesty, nothing is really doing too well here and his team is kind of dead. We're going to move on very quickly. There were two cards which did really good overnight, and that was Donnarumma and Di Lorenzo. We did tip the D Donnarumma on our Discord last night, I will show you this tip. It's quite a crazy one. Donnarumma at 115, that was the second time he tipped him, he actually did them before that the same day. Which I must have shown in yesterday's YouTube video, because I posted before, when it was 110k. I did unfortunately set mine for 130 and I sold 139, but now you can see this card is well and truly to the moon. This is a very hype card and a great link for hybrids for those guys to... Um, Link Ramos and Bonucci. Di Lorenzo obviously being another good Italian link and all the Italian links doing well is the reason why he, why he has risen. Uh, in terms of fodder, I'll give you a fodder update right now. Uh, 83s are still chilling. You could have got them at 850 before, not anymore maybe. These 84s are up like 1-200 coins. They were 3k just yesterday though. 85 maybe up a little bit, I'm not too sure. The 87s were the real money maker today. Those were chilling at 19-20k. They're now chilling at 23k. You got 87s, W and enjoy your profits. 88s might be up a tiny bit, 89s definitely haven't really moved. The big news is the 90s, which we invested. Unfortunately, we invested in one of the fodder, which actually dropped. So all the 90s started to drop last night after the video, and on stream when I was buying more. And obviously that's running the price of Chavi down, which is my main investment. And um, yeah, so we're losing coins there, but we'll make them back. So it's nothing to worry about. The best advice I can give you is when you have an asset or a investment, which is depreciating, which means losing value, don't be stubborn and hold on to it. Make sure you get out of it as fast as you can if you have another investment in mind. Currently I don't have another investment but if we're having a look around at the other teams you will see that everything is just simply dropping right now so there's not really much to invest in. Um, this is last week's team. There's just no movement on any of these cards really. Lam, Casillas, they're, they're actually down today. And this is all due to team of the season panic and prem voting coming out today and stuff like that. So people are preparing for team of the season. The market's going to be tough to trade for the next 10 days unless you're buying fodder and they're selling. There's not really going to be much to do. Medina is starting to rise because people are hearing that Append is going to win and they're all investing in nice and early, just like we did last week. Um, yeah, 29k, maybe you can buy some Medinas, but I've got a bad, bad feeling it's going to be over invested and Append is going to be bad. We'll wait and see. If he comes to under 30k, maybe that's definitely something we can invest in. Um, Hummels, obviously, Hummels is one of the cards which is down horrendously, mainly due to um, Bonucci. We look at his collapse yesterday from 90k down to 64 and today. I mean, he got spike low there. He's just trading at 60k, no movement up or down. <coughs> There's a few other cards which are uh, moving negatively as well, but Hummels was the main one I've noticed. A lot of these cards are just performing very, very weak. Timo Werner's doing awful. Unless you bought 87 40, you probably didn't make many or any coins last night. Okay. Unless you got some really good lasers and low risk trades. A lot of the market is just slowly, slowly dying. These cards are just falling every single day. These cards are falling. Kanate is down to 16,750, which I really thought would have rebounded a little bit. He's down to 17k. If you look at this dip on this card, 
God was at 24k yesterday. And he's all the way down at 17. Maybe that's a buy, maybe it's not. We'll have to wait and see. I wouldn't be against it. <laughs> if you can pick this up for anything close to 16k, I think you can get some lazy sales. So maybe that's something I'm going to look into tonight on stream. As you know, I stream twice daily on Twitch at 2.30pm and 10pm UK time. So make sure you give that a follow. And we'll hopefully have some ideas on what to trade. Because right now, I'm kind of struggling on what to see. What that is to actually trade. Because we have all this team of season hype coming and all the panic on the market. If you look at some of the most popular cards in the game, Mbappe is down to 376. Um, Captain V is down to 619. All the top tier cards are falling. Saliba is down to 400k. One of the crazy ones actually who's not even here. Who's on the thumbnail of this video is Afmakano. Look how down bad this card is. It's like 190 now. 186. This is a crazy centre back. This guy was 700k. I know the upgrade's almost finished, but this is an insane card with insane links. But where the market, Barella is actually up, so some of these Italian links have done well. Sanchez is down. We get deep in season two, so there's worry there. Di Lorenzo obviously up. Uh, some of these heroes, I don't even know to be honest. Fafana is down at 174, and they play Real Madrid tomorrow or the day after. I think it's tomorrow. And this card, I'm actually predicting to rise after the game, so I'll probably be buying this card, many or a few of them during the game, because no one really expects Chelsea to come back. Good centre back, but yeah, centre back market is all over the place, as you can tell. They're all crashing heavily, but in general, if you're just looking around, everything is just falling. Dudek and these 89s are hanging on for dear life at 36k, which is why I paid. I'm hanging on for dear life, trying to settle them for 38k for break even. Boone is down bad. But yeah, nothing is really going to come to make this photo rise. You need to get out ideally. Raspadori is doing well, obviously Italian links still in the competition. You will also have Rabio in the club, so they probably would do um, Bonucci and link him there and have more Serie A players. But yeah, the general vibe as you can see here, Emery Chan is 162. Like some of these prices, you're just going to scroll through and be like, wow, this is ridiculously low now at this point. The Yaya Torre is 190. Like, we're getting to the stage of FIFA now where a lot of cards are becoming obsolete and are just going to keep crashing, crashing, crashing until they're worthless, until team of the season. But PTG 5 star, 5 star agrees at 271k. How can other cards stand a chance when they're falling so much? It's something I wanted to pull up and it was the entire team of the year. And this team is just collapsing in price as well. We saw a second player go under 1 mil earlier, Mo uh, Modric is under a mil, briefly, 1.33, 1.8, BVD is not even getting a team of the season, like no way, I don't even know if he's in the vote, but, like this guy should do well, but yeah, if the alternatives that come, if there's enough of them and they are good enough, these cards are going to continue to fall, Tamori at 200, 200k, the other informed Tamori, if you guys remember from the start of the year, he's down horrendous, he's down to 45k, this is low-key probably a very good investment, so I'm probably going to get quite heavy on this one very soon. Because this is too low. I know yesterday he went to 40k. 42. This is something I'm going to get involved in tonight for sure. I need to get out of this damn unassigned because I hate my life when I'm unassigned. But for someone who hates his life unassigned, I will spend an awful lot of time in the unassigned. Uh, here are my investments in my unassigned. Yep, that game don't want to load again. Here it is. And it's stuff like this, it's Chavi, Solskjaer, luckily all of these are at like 36k. I'm not too concerned because they still are 36k. I do have a lot of them. So hopefully I can sell those for break even. But the Chavis are a bad situation because I've obviously paid. Well, I paid 46, but I'm going to sell that for like pretty much the same price anyway. Like maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll list this for... Because I'm just trying to get rid of these quite fast now. I'm going for 45, 250 for the pretty much instant sales so I can get out. But for some reason, I don't know what's going on with my PlayStation. I don't know what's going on with FIFA. But anytime I'm streaming or anything like that, my game is just stuck, heavy, laggy, slow, I don't know. But yeah, you're going to see the absolute sea of cards I'm trying to get rid of right now here. A ton of these Chavis. They are lazy selling, that's why I'm not absolutely rushing. But we'll see in the next hour or two. I I'll probably will start just, I mean, if I need to drop them by 2k each, I'll lose 200k if there's 100, right? I can get rid of them now. I can make 200k back tonight if I start investing in better cards. So I'm going to do, be doing that after this video. I will be selling all these investments. Joe Cole actually did okay. We got some really good deals on ours as well. We paid 65, 65, and Joe Cole is actually laser selling for like 74k apparently. Because he's not fodder either, he's just usable. Yeah, apparently he is laser selling for that. He did hit hit there earlier. He hit 70. Wow, he hit 65 again. Damn. But yeah, this is what happens when you're unassigned. You get stuck, you can't trade, you get trapped, and that's why I do not like it. And I will not be there again. I know I said that two days ago, but unfortunately I thought I had a really good opportunity. I got greedy, I couldn't make the profits I wanted and I um, ended up taking a big one, 1.5 mil loss. 
unfortunately that is the fact of trading be ready to make the coins be ready to lose the coins pick yourself back up as soon as you lose them uh, i'll be looking for more investments after this video and on stream and for tomorrow's video i hope you have a lot more ideas i'm not really too sure what i'm going to do with all the panic on the market but yeah other than that um thank you for watching everyone like subscribe share the video give me any feedback what are you guys investing in if you lost coins i'm sorry obviously i've lost coins too but we can make them back very easily just don't hold on to that depreciate depreciating asset for so long or the card which is losing value forever take the loss move on you can make that coin back very very easily i'm not too fussed but it is what it is and these days happen in trading not every day is an up there but thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you on the next one